What's up, YouTube? Uh, I just want to share a quick video about single cycle waveforms. Uh, Pioneer uh, has already made official video about this years ago. I'll try to link it somewhere. Um, I will assume that you have already watched it and uh, I will just recap the basics. So you got these single cycle waveforms like the perfect sine wave. or the triangle wave. Or a saw wave or a square wave and etc. Et How you do it? You it's very simple. You turn the loop function on and the trigger mode to gate. What happens now? Well, how it sounded before? Like this. How it sounds after I change it to loop. You can see that it's not a perfect sine wave. I think it's because of the filter here. Yes, now it's... By the way, on the oscilloscope, the red line is a mid side, mid signal, and the blue one is side. It's not left or right, I just... Uh, because it's a mono. It's, it's mono signal, so there's no point having left and right there. Anyway, so this is how it sounds. Oh, one, one more thing, uh, it's very important to <laughs> lower the volume of those because I uh, would like 60 maybe, it gets, it tends to get very loud. Okay. So, let's take a simple beat here. Yeah, by default, this is infinity, and it sounds like this. I'll make it shorter. like this, a little bit of release, a little bit of attack. Make this one shorter even. Maybe it's too quiet. Let's put a compressor there to tame the peaks. Four to one. Some attack. I'm not sure how to set the compressor very well. You, 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 you have to dig deeper and don't take these uh, values uh, absolutely. Just use your ears. Here, I think it made uh, a difference. It's, it's not peaking that high. It stops roughly around zero, which is what I wanted. Let's do the same with the triangle wave here. Okay. Loop on, gate. Hold to.
one more thing. Uh, all these waveforms come from the Adventure Kit. I will link it definitely big up to Adventure Kit. You can download them for free. It's more than 4,000 different files. And uh, it's all these single cycle waveforms. By the way, there's one more thing that uh, I want to say that I don't agree with the original Pioneer video because they suggest you change the length of this waveform. I wouldn't mess with it because there is a, there is a reason why the start and the end is at the zero. You know <laughs> that it joins basically. It can it can nicely smoothly continue from the end to the beginning. Cycle, keep cycling. If you do this, make it shorter. There there will be this jump, and it will cause well, let's say some distortion, some saturation, some overtones. You you can experiment whatever sounds good to you. But you know what? I keep it to the length of these one cycle waveforms okay anyway what i want to talk, talk about I, I was thinking like okay this is cool of course yeah there, there's there's uh, a important thing uh, what you do then you can of course apply these effects and an lfo let's do it here quickly let's do distortion for example You know what? Let's, let's let's put here phaser. My favorite phaser. Okay, and a filter. Some resonance and glide. Right, and let's automate. By the way, today I learned. <laughs> today I learned a great, great uh, thing I didn't know. You can automate. You can automate even the LFO. This, this is what one thing that I was missing on this machine. I didn't know you you can do it. So anyway, let's put let's let's use the multi mode cutoff for second effect. Okay, let's use a triangle wave mode trigger free let's sync it for the longest time i didn't know i didn't know you can hold the step and do you can change the speed and the depth and the offset of course So if I go here to the sequence, take the parameter trigger and put some of them here, I can start automating the LFO. Interesting modulation going there. All right, so this is good. I thought like how to how to step step the game up, and I thought, hey, wait, let's take two these waveforms and join them in Audacity. I will first show you how to make it in Audacity. So Audacity is a free audio editing software. We, here we got the perfect waves folder. 
take a sine wave and we take a saw wave so that there's a sharp difference. You see, all we do here, we use this tracks panel menu. Everything you do in Audacity when you want to do this is in the tracks. I remember it. It's very easy to remember it like that. <laughs> it's for me. So what we, uh, how do we uh, connect them? Oh, well, <laughs> this this is the only thing that you do uh, differently. You right click. You you I think you control or command A to select them both. Right click here and make stereo track. So yeah, I just denied what I said. Anyway, you take this thing, you upload it, just copy it to your flashcard and take it back to the sampler. All right, so we got a sine and saw wave joined together like this, you see? If I then okay loop on gate here Oh, there's an LFO, I thought, what was going on? You know what, let's put it to zero. Because it was not supposed to go like the, 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 the staccato. It was supposed to go long sustained. Oh, come on. Anyway, you can see on the oscilloscope. It's weird that we have the mid side signal. I'm not going. I'm not going to uh, overthink this. You can see it's a sine wave because we are on the left side, left pan. That means this upper one. Okay. If you go to the right pan, we should get a perfect saw wave and you see we should see a morph between those two very interesting and we got a sine wave uh, a saw wave sorry Anyway, if you look at this, it's bad because we have either right side or the left side. That's bad. What, what, what do we do with this? There is a way I thought. I, I, <laughs> you know, you just take a TS mono jack. I use the output number three because when it's next to one and two, I can feel where it is without looking there, back there. And the same here, I know it's next to this mm, input volume knob, input gain knob. And I joined output number three and input number one, okay? So now if I go to here, the out, set the output and I will set it to three watch what happens yeah and uh, you should lower the volume should have done it uh, before i'm sorry so now uh, one more thing now we are getting signals both from the one and two and uh, uh, number three output if we change this here from master plus six channels to eight channels we'll only get the th number three output here
the levels are still different you can see but they are not it's not just the right channel or the left channel we cannot hear the sine wave because it's very quiet it's very non-aggressive um, it's a difference you see there's one more um, possibility how to mm, modulate these single cycle waveforms that I came up with and uh, let's go to Audacity again. We take the let's take let's take these saw around it. Let's take the first 16 of them. You could take another 16, any 16, any 16 of any waveforms. And you get them all like this, one under another. You select all by Ctrl R A or Command A, keyboard shortcut, go to tracks, here align tracks, align end to end. This is what happens now. Again, we get all of them selected, tracks, mix, mix and render to new track. And we've got a new track here. Again to tracks, remove tracks, and you get this one. Oh yeah, we export it into wave 44, 100, 44K, 44.1K, 16-bit, take it to the sampler and we're ready to go. Okay, so we have got now the 16, uh, okay, let's just, by default, it should look like this. I was messing with it already. By default, it should look like this. We make sure the loop is on and the gate is on. And here, that the grip, grid snap is on. Now, each of those single cycle waveforms is 600 samples long. You see, because we put 16 of them there. And uh, I took 1 16th of the whole waveform, we got nice, and now if I change the start, you got a nice single cycle waveforms, but each of them is different. By the way, there's one bug you see, check this out. If I go back, you see how the loop changed to a really short time. That sucks, that's bad. It sounds like this. It should not sound like that. If I go back again and forward, should sound like this. See? So be careful about this. Just be aware of this. And, you know, so... Lo-fi effect here. Let's leave it like this for now. Now, if I go to the LFO on this long 16 times saw wave, and I'm start modulating start position. Check out what happens.
now we got the LFO constantly changing morphing I messed up on the date because they are all in D. These waveforms are tuned to D. And our <laughs> our drum loop according to the tuner says it's B D sharp B. B D sharp. Okay, let's try B. It means we have to go if, if, if the bass is D and we check out the keyboard and B is just minus one. If you wanted to go to, oh no, no, actually it's from D. So one, two, three, so it's minus three, I'm sorry. If you want to go to D sharp, it's plus one. So minus three, let's try minus three everywhere on the pitch. Anyway, this is all I wanted to show you. To have fun with this. Experiment. Just have fun. Cheers.